So we're gonna be looking at um, working the superior oblique muscles, the muscles of the eyes to help coordinate uh, for what's called convergence and divergence. So we're looking at this, this ability for your eyes to move inward and move outward. And we're gonna do it through what we call string sliding, okay? What we actually see is a little different than one chord. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna have one uh, end of this rope in a door frame. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to focus inward and I'm gonna focus outward. And what I'm seeing is I'm seeing two strings. When I look all the way to the end, I see two strings creating a V. As I look inward, what happens is I see an X. And the goal is to keep focusing inward until I can kind of hold that and then I slowly, whoa, that's hard, slowly work it back and forth. There it goes and I go all the way to the end, okay? Now what you're going to see, here's the other end over here. That what you're gonna see is you're gonna see it do that and then come towards you. Okay, and do it really slow. And you want that crossing point to be clear. Okay, so right at the tail end, you're gonna see that, that V, and then as you look inward, you're gonna see that X, okay? So this exercise, you're gonna do uh, repetitively in a nice controlled manner. You're trying to not have any jumps um, going back and forth. So we want your eyes to slowly move along the string and then move out along the string, in along the string. If you're finding that you're having trouble, that's your stopping point. You're gonna hold that for a few seconds and go back. Okay, this is something you do for a minute at a time. Maybe do a couple minutes uh, from an exercise standpoint. You can do it periodically throughout the day. But this is a great exercise to work on this convergence divergence. The reason why this is important, you're in a grocery aisle or you're driving and there's objects that are moving around you as you're walking. So when you're walking in a grocery aisle, you're, you, um, if you have difficulty with this, you're gonna have trouble focusing on uh, a cereal box or a label and you're not gonna have good clarity. And it's gonna be very uncomfortable and you're gonna have potential dizziness, um, you're gonna feel off, it's not gonna feel good. This type of exercise is to try and counteract that. So we call this string sliding. And uh, again, one minute to start with, try and get as close as you can, hold it and go back and forth and smooth it out so you don't have jumps along the way.